Hi hey guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report. Today we're going to talk about the Kwan Zhao to the Pool Pie, which is the first Pool Pie in the wooden dummy set. See when we get back, guys. Christopher, please come in. So, in the wooden dummy form, one of the Pool Pie, we learned Pool Pie is a Chinese instrument that you, it's kind of like a little guitar. So it's called a pole pie, palm strike, and a wind dummy, which is a double palm strike, simply because it resembles that musical instrument, for those who are interested in history. There's many, many, many ways to use this, right? And we don't have time to go over all of them, so I'll just give you one simple idea. One of the ways you can use the pole pie is against a paxa. So when Chris does a paxa, that's a paxa punch. But that's a symbolic movement. It doesn't have to be a literal martial art technique. It could be someone grabbing your jacket and punching you, grabbing a top part of your jacket and hitting you, right? Symbolized by a pox out, see? And the way you counter that is, if you feel it early, when you're training off a reference point, so it's easier for beginners to learn. In reality, you don't have to train it off the reference point. When he does a pox out, if I feel it early, I just hit, right? I just hit. If you pox out even faster, I just hit. But let's say I don't see it till it's late. I don't see it till here. That's what the Kwan Zhao Pai is for. So it's a recovery technique because it breaks your major Wing Chun rule, which is when one hand's out, the other hand should be back here. You should never hit with both hands because if you hit with both hands and somebody dodges it or blocks it or takes it, now you have no hand left to guard the center line, right? So the Pai is a recovery technique. And one of the best counter attacks after the late Kwan Zhao technique we were doing is the Pai jump because your hands are already out anyways. Might as well just turn over and hit. So if Chris takes my arm across and then he punches me in the face, then from here, that's the pull back. Let's go slow, from here, hit. If he goes across, right, you pull by because this hand guards this hand, see? However, if he steps me straight with a proper box out and you do a pull by, when you do a pull by, that's dumb because look where his hand is. You're going to get hit right away. That's one of the most major mistakes with the Kwan Zhao Pai. You can't take it literally. If you feel, you have to feel the pressure. If it's coming in straight, you do something different, right? You come across like this, that's how slow. You come across and you roll your elbow over, which is based on a third form cup jump, right? Some of the variations you can do to do that. From here, you can just simply put the arm, right? That part was bagua, it's not Wing Chun, sorry. Sometimes you just start flowing, right? Another way you can use this is if the guy throws it very high. If you early, you just hit. But if you're a little bit late, use the Kwan Zhao Pai. Right? You can also use a non-Hong Kong variation where you're kind of doing a flow, right? Once you hit this, you can throw. If Chris tries not to fall, he comes in. I can't move him, right? But if I kind of feel his root from post training, right? Then he can't move his existence, right? And then for those interested in this kind of work, you can just look at the post-training clip that I've done much earlier, right? So, yeah, that's it. And when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about this. Thanks, Chris. Oh. Thanks, guys, for watching this short demo. Before I go, I want to go over a common mistake with the pole pie, Joe, which is sometimes it is taught with pushing, which is good, but you should train it with both energies, pushing and hitting. The hitting part is pretty obvious, like I demonstrated on Chris today, but the pushing part, one of the common mistakes is people like to push because the guy goes flying and it looks good for demos, right? But that's actually not a smart thing to do. When you push, you create distance. When you create distance, you create time. In a real situation, if you give the guy time, he's just going to get back up and keep hitting you. Or if you push the guy far away, now you give him time to draw a weapon. Not smart at all. So if you push, it has to be tactical. Maybe there's a telephone pole behind him, a flight of stairs, his friend is coming, there's a table, push him into a car and you can run, that kind of thing, right? So when you start playing with the pole pie, you, know, you have to keep in mind when to do it. And that is, it's breaking the Wing Chun rule like we discussed earlier, so it should only be done as a recovery. And two, if you decide to push, you should only do it for tactical reason and not just create space. All right, guys, thanks for watching this short demos. If you're demonstrating our work, we have a course on this on the website, adamchangkungfu.com. Train hard and stay safe.